In this video, I played a serial killer dating sim. <laughs> I need to, uh... Oh my god. There's a lot of eligible murderer bachelors out there, and I really just thought that one of them should be with me. All knives considered, I think it went pretty well. Did you already get sick of the sad boy and wonder if the sad girl would do it for you? Cut the ah. and give me the bell. I don't have time for this. This is a Dead by Daylight officially licensed dating sim, and I've never played Dead by Daylight, but this did look fun. And it was. You could have been there at twitch.tv slash choir, where it was streamed the entire way through. I'll actually be live there tonight if you want to check it out. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to the last time I tried to woo a monster. And did you know only a fifth of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? I'm literally crying right now. Can't you tell? Seriously though, if you sub and hit that bell, you'll never miss an upload. It takes two seconds and you can always undo it later if you feel like it. Anyways, enjoy this video. Wow, he looks incredibly big and strong. Yeah, shout out the devs for the copy. I will abuse it well. This looks like a nice little tropical getaway. I see myself enjoying this. Quite. Cough, cough, cough. Dude, that's just like what I'm doing right- <laughs> Oh fuck! You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name. What do you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. Cough, cough. I cough again. Wow, really went the wrong down the wrong pipe, huh? Do you need a minute or can I go on? Don't, don't be a dick, all right? Like, I'm, I'm clearly suffering here because I can give you a minute. We got plenty of time. Endless time, really. In eternity, if you catch my drift, the ocean said to me, I'm apparently going insane in canon. Oh, not now, ocean. Sorry, quite. May I continue? Please go on. I have dialogue? As I was saying, when you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. You turn around and what you see is waiting for you. Your jaw hits the ground. I need to, uh... Oh my god. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Killers. Serial killers, you might say. A serial killer. Dating sim, you might say. Hello? Let me look up what the trapper looks like in the game. Kind of, kind of a departure from the original design, if you ask me. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous lineup of, well, literal monsters. What do you do? I don't want to get on these guys' bad side. I'm going to toss it back to show, like, how, like, cool and hip I am. You bend down and grab the ball and show my humongous ass cheeks to all four of them, making them all blush instantly. Not bad, stranger. Oh, gosh. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Is the ocean a dateable option? A if you think about it, the ocean is a serial killer. You derailed the game by showing up, nitwit. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. Oh boy. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more than distract from my total domination? Deep sigh. That was Wraith. That sigh means he was done with this game too. Look, I don't care why the slack-jawed moron is here. It's just mean, man! I just want to know, can I kill them or not? Hey, Quite, you might want to know to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There will be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. Oh, fuck, don't tell me this is the lore segment. I might be fucked right about now. I need to blow my nose preemptively. <laughs> this is a timed quiz and will be very important later, so I'm screwed! How attractive would you say you are? Uh, let's say, very. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Super strength just seems like the most uh, applicable. What was your best subject in school? History. It was it was unironically history for me. What's your favorite animal? Cat, dog, mustelid. Be honest, you have no idea what a mustelid is and you're hoping it's some secret answer that results in a hilarious Easter egg, right? Because there is no Easter egg. It's just another word for ferrets and stuff like that. Well, I'm rather fond of ferrets, so I'll take it. What's your favorite color? Blood, blue, red, three-day-old corpse. Nobody would expect me to pick this, so I'm gonna say three-day-old corpse. No, I'm. it's because of Springtrap. Dude's an older than three-day-old. What's your dream job? Not working at all sounds pretty good. Like, if I could never fucking see you guys again, that'd be dope. Best flavor of ice cream? I'm a vanilla guy, personally. My favorite flavor is pain. Overrated. I think mint chip is the the greatest flavor ever conceived. But enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second, this reminds me. I am right, always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Who would I say if you want to survive? Pick mint chip. You're teaching lessons now, Raider Raider? You, you rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Hey, that's me. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? I'm sticking to my guns. The best flavor is vanilla. You got a reading comprehension problem? I just told you mint chip was where it's at. You almost bought yourself a game over there, buddy. That's right. I can end your life whenever I want. I'm in control, so don't you forget it. You like mint chip. Now try it again. Triple down. A rebel, eh? Not in my dating sim. You have to understand, it feels very good to end someone else's game. You should try it sometime. Oh, huh. It, it, okay. Fuck, now I gotta do this whole thing over again. The best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. He, he called me, he called me obedient and I felt some type of way. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. Yeah, and then I wa and then I walked in. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. Yeah, you have like 
good hair. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time. But things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. She seems like the most life-enjoying person out of the bunch so far. Where do you want to go? Hmm. I'm kind of feeling the pool. I want to I wanna hang with Wraith a little bit. You know, just, just, just get to know him, that's all. Hold on. What the fuck are these? This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. None of the others survived. Fucking wearing those little those slutty little short cur Little whore, Dwight, look at you. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend writing for us to present you with your options whenever possible, and don't just run off to the various activities unsupervised. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you can do is help us get off this I Dwight. Yes, pardon me. Please follow us. Uh, what's going on with Ray's face? Is that a smile? Is that what a smile looks like when he does it? What can I say? Being enveloped by water is comforting. It's quiet and ominous, and you know. Wraith looks back over each shoulder to make sure no one besides you is within earshot. Fire can't get me! <laughs> Since where everyone's at the pool, we figured we'd bring over some of our most popular pool accessories. Wait, which one of these is particularly interesting to you? It's gotta be the foam noodles, come on. These things were goaded back in the day. You know how pools have those, like, jets? Did any of y'all, like, take the noodle and then, like, stick it on the end of that? Then it would, like, you could, like, fucking shoot it like a laser at other people in the pool? That, that was, that was, like, the, the number one use of them. Plus, you could use them as floaties. My favorite. Maybe you're not as dumb as you look. Wait a minute, the waiter near the water near your leg just got warm. Um, Trapper, did you pee in the pool? It's important to establish dominance when you enter a new place. Call him out. When in Rome, it went in Rome. You ease all your muscles and the tension leaks right out of your body. Oh, hey guys, has anyone seen my? Oh, fuck. And there goes Wraith. I guess not everyone's that into peeing into the pool. Weird. It's as if the sun's very rays have a calming effect on you. Your body tranquilized by the soft light from overhead. And you're not alone. I feel recharged by the gentle warmth of the ocean's caress. How is he making his shirt do that all the time? This is a pool, not the ocean? Okay, everyone, just let him finish. Thanks, quite. I know this probably doesn't seem like me, but would anyone like to play a game of Marco Polo? Yes, I love games. I'll go first. Someone blindfold me. Of course, Trapper has a blindfold ready to go. It's as if he had it in his hands before you even smoke. Why the fuck would I go first. It's like I'm trying to die. The character- when I'm not in charge of the, the decisions my character makes, he's a fucking dunce. Ugh, and he- did he just wink? And did you just bite your lip? I did not! I, I did fucking not! Mini games consist of two parts. On top, a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Press the space bar to stop the pointer while over the target to win. To achieve a perfect success, land on the start of the target area, not the end. I think I got it. Hey, away we go. It's time to feel around. Go get him, tiger. Got his ass. Holy shit, I'm literally the best. This is just my Friday Night Funkin' rhythm games skills coming in. This game is just like Friday Night Funkin' if you think about it. Perfect. Perfect! Holy shit. I'm so fucking good at this. Not bad. Perfect! I- oh my god, I'm literally crushing this. That was pretty good, quite. Holy shit. That was a good game. I say we celebrate by throwing this waiter, whose name I forgot, into the pool. Once everyone is gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not gonna blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not gonna say who, so don't worry you, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means that we're behind on time for evening activities. But we still gotta get started on story time, so... Wait, who do you think should go? Please pick somebody quickly so that this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. Are we focusing all our eth efforts on Wraith, or are we diversifying our dating pool? Spirit or Wraith? I'm between Spirit and Wraith. I'm thinking Wraith. I choose you, Wraith. Whoa, whoa. This this entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the catchphrases, will ya? Wraith holds up his skull and gazes into its hollow, dark eye sockets. If you're looking for something Shakespearean in the story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of madness. Staring at the soul of death and never returning. Ah, yes. I don't have a good reference to make here, sorry guys. Once upon a time, a young man worked at a junkyard. This man was quiet, kept to himself, just wanted to avoid trouble. One day, right before crushing a car, he noticed something. Blood. He opened it and found a frightened stranger, bound and gagged. Was he about to accidentally murder the stranger? How could this have happened? Before his shaken employees could tell him about the mistake they had nearly made, the boss took out a knife and swift, swiftly slipped the stranger's throat. It's about his lore? Oh, okay. Why do you think we're crushing these cars? Deep down, you've always known what was happening here. You just didn't want to admit it to yourself. The young man's body body shook with soft spasms as he tried to stop crying. It was when the boss started laughing that it happened. He stood up, now taller than the boss. Empty as he grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him to the car in the crush. Empty as he slammed the trunk down on him. It's stupid fat heads. Wraith stares back into the eye sockets of his skull. And that was my favorite episode of Spongebob. An awkward silence falls upon the room until Wraith approaches you. Hey, I'm probably not making a great impression, cause uh, I guess that's not really my thing. I just know that if you get to know me, then look, the others aren't around. And I really hate this fire pit. Maybe we could go back to the pool and like, I don't know, whatever, you know. Okay, I didn't, I'm hoping I didn't fuck it up yet. I'm hoping I didn't fuck it up yet. You and your storyteller friends slip into the water. 
water. Do you do you remember my story? You mean the one you just told like a minute ago? Did you I mean like what did you think of the young man of the story? Do you think he's weird? He's not weird. I would forgive him. Well, I don't think he's weird, but he is bad and I'm deeply upset with him. What? What do you what do you mean? I did not say that shit. That's not some shit I said. What do you fucking mean? I didn't say that. I didn't say that shit. I didn't say that shit. Motherfuckers. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the end, he's no better than the monster he killed. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. Um, did that young man remind you of anyone? Fuck this game, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far back will it push me? I can fix- I can save this. I think we should commit. Yes. What? No, it's not- you're carrying around the guy's skull and spine with you right now. Is it cold in the water now, or is it just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. Wraith seizes up and squeezes his eyes shut. I can't be here around any cube talk. Not since, um, I heard that story from somebody else. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna, uh, I should let him come out to it about me on, like, when he's comfortable, I think. I should let him know I'll support him. It's on- it's- it's- it's completely in his control for whenever he wants to, uh, talk about it. Wraith giggles. Not a gross way, like you're thinking, but a very silly one. I assume he's imagining a tiny little version of himself dancing around in his own belly. I want him dancing in my belly. Sorry, 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 fuck. Oh god, I did it again. Oh fuck. You open your eyes. The sun is shining. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by the campfire, but woke up several yards down the beach. Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? Nope, not a dream. You really are here for another day. At least they're make for a sexy punch, no? Talk about sexy. Here comes Trickster carrying coffee. Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a cup of joe to start this incredible day off right. This has poison in it. Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor though. Everyone knows musicians are mourning people. I also want to wish you luck. Today is an important one. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issues. Now is the t- Never mind, he left. Well, at least you brought me a cup of rat poison. <laughs> No, wait, don't drink that. Honestly, so upsetting how goddamn horny your chat is, man. You cannot say a goddamn word on this topic. You're a hypocrite. Also, you, you, you gotta, you gotta understand like what they can't, what they, what they all found me through. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise, the type of place you give a five out of five, a ten out of ten, two thumbs up review to not an eternal prison of pain. Sorry, we could, we should have been here five minutes ago. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time here on the island? Hmm. Yes. For what reason have I been enjoying this? Yes, I'm not at all suspicious that there's no no option. We all had to sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Would you please sign this non-disparagement agreement? If I say no, I'm dead, aren't I? Least meta game ever. If you think about it, a game like this has to be incredibly meta. Let's like let's let's be honest. No, I will not say anything. God damn it! God damn it! They fucking they got me. They got my ass. No, I will not say anything negative about this island. You have my word that I quite agree with the terms of this verbal contract. Motherfucker, putting words on my mouth that I have to read for the sake of my stream. Here's my eye. Island hangout. This is what I call the Cosmic Dump. Dump is being kind. It's a massive collection of seemingly ancient ruins that simultaneously appear to have been recently abandoned. There are stone obelisks, strange carvings, ritual tables. You look around in awe, then look at Wraith, expecting more of an explanation. There is a very long, very awkward pause. What if I just, like, shove my ass cheeks in the ear to break the tension? You dig your toe into the dirt trying to be cute. Wraith is too busy averting his eyes and dying to notice. Okay, we gotta backtrack. We're going back in time. I have something very important to tell you. Oh, great. I bet he's got crabs. It's about my special bell. What? Wraith pulls it out. The bell, you perv. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna give you my last remaining family heirloom because you were nice to me a couple times. I'm- th we met this dude like 48 hours ago. Is it possible for inkly blackness to sparkle? It happens in Wraith's eyes. Look at the ritual table again. It's beaten up with a giant hole in it. Smile? Smile at Wraith. Know any rituals we could do on this table? Wraith blushes and stammers and looks away, smiling. Winky face. Ha! <laughs> you feel like you're finally warming up, Wraith, so you unleash the big guns. Um, you wanna play truth or dare? Wraith looks mortified, but tries to keep it together. Um, I guess so, but only if I can ask first. Deal. Truth or dare? Fuck. Right, do I do I want to take a dare from him or a truth? Questions have gotten us nowhere but embarrassing situations. I'll take a dare. Why not? Um, I might dare you to tell me if you were a plant, what kind of plant you would be. Hmm. Great question. Cactus? Rhododendron? The fuck is that? Take off your shirt. Show me. So he's ba he's practically not wearing it. Show me something. Show me something you'd never show anyone else. Wait, you're about to see something many other people have seen. Wraith looking incredibly uncomfortable. Thank you for being patient with me. I need to try to be more open with people starting now. Wraith clears his throat. In that way, a lazy writer would make him do if they wanted to signify something important and different was coming up. You have my bell. I want to show you something. Of course I have it. You reach for it, but it's gone. Um, Wraith furrows his brow. I when the fuck did I lose it? No, 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 no. I refuse to let it end like this. I will rewrite history. I'm using the time stone. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it right this time. Take off your shirt. I dare you to take off your shirt. Oh, all right. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, Wraith takes off his shirt. Feels like a big moment, like you won the game or something. But no, you got a lot more game left. You applaud him as he blushes. He quickly puts his shirt back on and smiles, reinvigorated. Wraith clears his throat. In that way, a lazy writer would make him do if they wanted- Okay, yeah. My 
Oh shit. Oh fuck, no! It's just gone canonically forever. I swear I had it. I don't know what could have happened. We'll need to find it for it. But Claudette and Dwight burst in and interrupt. Seems like they have a very dramatic amount of stuff. It needs to take place at the beach. You arrive at the beach, but something feels off. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel uneasy and cold. And here's why. Spirit appears as if from nowhere. Hey, quite. didn't you expect this hot piece of sass? What, goth girlfriends can't make silly, sexy puns from time to time? Yeah, I use these two simpletons to dupe you. You're easy to dupe. Maybe because deep down, you wanted to be duped. There's no way Wraith can be making- keep- be making you happy. Spirit's usual disaffect in nature has given way to some combination of disgusted and desperation. If she stole the bell, she's a bitch. And it's kind of working. He only pretends he doesn't want people to care about him, but really, that's all he wants, and he wants it more than anything. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get him to be, like, more, you know, assertive. Uh, can you imagine wanting something so cringe? I bet he won't even tell you his theory about this island. What a fake. You deserve to be someone re with someone real. A real ghost. Someone who really doesn't give a shit. What if I just did, like, the Call of Duty silent protagonist meme? I like Spirit, but she's an ass. She might only be an ass in this storyline. You see through her desperate last minute attempt to win your affection. You turn around and walk back to Wraith without so much as saying a word. You came back. No one ever comes back. I want to show you something. You follow Wraith to a corner of the ruins that you haven't seen. He brushes aside some dead leaves and branches, revealing a hatch in the ground. You open the hatch with some effort and lower yourself into a long tunnel. You descend into a... Holy fuck, this bachelor pad is crazy. On one end is a set of intricately carved locks and cuff mechanisms on the wall. A torture area? On the other side is a table with potions, books, and maps. Dinner and torture? Say less. I, I want to go on like a waterboarding date. Like you get like a towel like forcefully shoved over your head and just like a pitcher of the water dumped over before they bring the creme brulee or cheesecake out. You pick up one of the larger leather bound books and Wraith walks over, opening to a specific page. Right as you finally are about to get some of that sweet, sweet information you've been lusting after, Claudette and Dwight pop in like like a bunch of fucking buzz kills. I promise, we're not being manipulated this time. Honest. It's time for dinner, you silly gooses. Come get some food. I hate them so much. Gangs all together again in the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. That's because it was? Oi, feels like I've been here a lot longer than that, actually. Really getting to know the gang. The brain, the mogul, the basket case, the, the psychotic bunny girl. Anyways, everyone is close on the gathered for the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who quite chooses. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you all about the dream date they have planned for you tomorrow. Get a spirit. Tomorrow, you'll spit in the face of God, die, and be reborn anew. That's it? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with Trapper or dig up whatever mysteries with Ray. I don't know what those guys do all day. Do you want to at least specify which God you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. Right, Huntress, why don't you take it from here? Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht. Don't worry, Trapper won't even know it's gone. What was that? Then boy, oh boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to start preparing because it's clear that you're going to pick me. Confident, mysterious, I like it. Trapper, without further ado, would would you like to make us all uncomfortable? Well, yes, thank you. I'd love to. So quite, you're thinking of picking me? Well, this is your final warning. Pick me and be punished and rewarded. Tomorrow will suck. Probably. I'm not an easy guy to get along with. Sorry. Anyways, Wraith? Well, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't really know how that's going to work with these game mechanics. What if you just whispered it to Quite? Wraith considers this for a long moment. Wraith lowers his voice to a barely audible whisper. Tomorrow we have to find my bell, and then I can finally tell you what I've been working on. It's going to be really special. Kind of thing where we will really bond. And maybe then we can go on a real date? Uh, you done? Is that it? Wraith nods. Proud. And time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about these options, so you're ready to choose in the morning. Now go dream about all these swoon-worthy options so that you're ready to make a choice come dawn. Aha, oh gosh, how we could forget. Before you run off to slumber peacefully, there's one more thing to do. No reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without singing at one of our contestants who is already teetering on the edge of a psychological break. So which sociopath are you eliminating? <laughs> I like Trapper the least. This was very simple. Trapper, you scared the living shit out of me. You were eliminated. That's fair. Honestly, though, I don't care. You suck. But not in a good way. You bore me, you personality-free maggot. Now that you've broken the heart of someone heartless, you should go get some shut-eye. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you left behind. Because, of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They might not get to go home with quite when this is all over, but they'll never sleep alone again. That's right. We're sending our eliminated player home with... <laughs> <laughs> Their own mostly new trickster body pillow. It might not hug you back, but it certainly won't try and stab you. And how do we know? Because I've tried it. That's right, it's Dwight tested, Claudette approved. Hope you sleep well tonight, Quite. You're my hero for what you've accomplished. It's time. Claudette gestures over the beach where the killers all stand flanked by tiki torches. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate watch with your ex. You have to date someone to have an ex, okay? You make your way to the row of hotties. Claudette and Dwight stand off the side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite the 48 hours, but there are clearly sparks in the air. It's time for our new 
newcomer to confess their love. No, you don't, but who cares? Quite, who do you choose for your solo day? Can we at least do the flower thing? Oh, right, right. I suppose, but no roses. They're such a cliche at this point. Well, that's good. I tried to pick a rose, but I got an ouchie, so I settled for these. What? You had to fucking put a bandage on them because they got ripped in half. You've done good, quite. This is a lovely bouquet. Stay loyal. It's it's funny you guys thought I wouldn't be by now. Wait, who do you select to receive these flowers and spend the day with you today? It's, it, it's Wraith. Like, I'm not even gonna fucking hype it up. Wraith, since I got on the island, I have been drawn to your quiet nature. Your unassuming good looks. The nervous energy you bring to every situation, no matter how normal and mundane. Wraith looks like he just watched the Earth explode from an orbiting space shuttle. No one can tell if he's too excited to process or partially dead. Got anything to say, Wraith? Sounds about right. As you board the yacht, Wraith is surprisingly quiet, but the awkward vibes are down by about 60%. Good job, I guess. The gentle rocking of the waves feels comforting as you turn to face your paramour. It can barely look at you. Is it nerves or something else? Can't believe after spending so much time with me, you still want to do more. I'm only going to disappoint you. Sh should I be like encouraging or like, you're simply the best option? I gotta, I gotta play it safe here. We'll see about that. We still have a full day ahead of us. Speaking of which, what exactly do you have planned for me today? Before we go that, into that, I need you to tell you something. It's about me, but ultimately more about you. I feel like I've changed. Someone, something about you puts me at ease. I feel different from my body, and that's good. I had to change in order to spend this day with you the way I want because I look almost there. Still can't say it. That's okay, though. You smile at him warmly. See, there it is. You always know how to comfort me. I haven't had that in a long time. All I want is someone to love, a family to care for. Wraith holds up Azarov's skull. My story about the man who pulled out his boss's skull and spine, that was about me. You almost tell him that you know, everyone knows, but you decide against it. Too long I have been attached to Azarov's skull. I have let it define me. No more. Wraith tosses the skull into the water. Wraith turns to you, smiling. He seems like a new man. Let's go back to the dump. What a romantic sentence to start the day with. As you walk into the cosmic dump, Wraith oozes nervous excitement. Oh gosh, I have something incredible planned for tonight. He even tries to wink. It's kind of grotesque, but hey, this sad boy is finally opening up. He pulls out some lotions and oils, sensual. And look what you've done to this anxious, shy boy. He's losing his inhibitions. And maybe soon he'll be losing his clothes. To get there, you have to find the bell. It's gotta be on this island, right? Where do you start looking? I suppose I could check out the creepy black lighthouse on the edge of the island. Lighthouses usually only have one big room at the bottom. You turn to leave and catch Wraith winking at you again as you exit. You know what? Maybe that wasn't a wink at all. Some of the mud he uses to cover up his face is probably dripping while he sweats anxiously. You arrive at the black lighthouse, optimistic and full of purpose. You don't see a bell anywhere. Spirit? Hello? You start poking around, wondering if Spirit took the bell and hid it around somewhere else. Oh, hey, hot stuff. You turn to see Trickster, casually posed, light reflecting off his skin, all of his many, many, too many abs glistening perfectly. Yeah, he's got like eight. Some of, one, at least one of those is obliques. Doing some snooping? I'm looking for Spirit. Me too, actually. Hey, have you seen Wraith's bell anywhere? I'm not gonna lie to you, friend. I have no idea who you're talking about, but uh, you wanna maybe hop over to the other island? Check out my stage? No, absolutely not. I'm on a mission. Word on the street is you're looking for me? Or are you looking for me? I am I gonna be all cheeky? Or am I gonna embarrass her for allegedly being in cahoots with that guy? Or are you looking for me? Huh, um, yeah, no. I have literally no idea why I'd want to be around you, especially after you picked Wraith. Did you already get sick of the sad boy and wonder if the sad girl would do it for you? Cut the crap and give me the bell. I don't have time for this. Spirit seems aroused by your aggression. Let's not let things get weird between us. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, and they said the narrator wasn't romanceable. Motherfucker, don't look up to the lighter, you die. If you look directly at it, I'll die. Precisely. You're much smarter than you look. No offense. Well, you know what they say about drunk driving. Perfect. So the light isn't completely fatal, I guess. Only half of your brain and a portion of your soul were damaged. The rest seems to be mostly okay, as far as I can tell. Thumbs up. Good job, me. Now please leave me alone. Gladly. And with that, you march triumphantly back to Wraith. You excitedly look, walk in to see Wraith in his sexiest outfit yet. It's gonna be the same thing, ain't it? Oh! Oh! Look at the guy. So open and comfortable in his own skin slash cloak slash painted burnt flesh thing. Wraith holds the bell and tears up. He kisses it. Weird. Only one more thing until we can finish this. What are we finishing? You know, I can't tell you that yet. Wraith hands you a super sexy outfit. Outfit is a maybe too strong of a word. This is barely more than a tiny bit of cloth connected by various thin elastic belts. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god. Here it goes. A wooga bark bark oop. It is incredibly revealing. Somehow, you look more naked with this on than you would if you were actually naked. Relaxed and confident, Wraith is a totally different person than the introverted loner you met when you arrived on the island. Are you ready? I want to give you my heart. He's literally going to hand it to me. You melt into his arms, his lips exploring, uh... I should, I should probably leave you too alone. Feels weird to be documenting this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you in a hold up. Dwight and Claudette, guess they like to watch. Hold that thought, lovebirds. Wraith, your special guest is here a little early. The lights pop back on. You and Wraith are still wearing virtually nothing. No time to get dressed. We've got to go immediately. I hate these fuckers so bad. Contrary to what you may have heard, we don't like to watch. Not this. See you later. Across from you stands a very old Nigerian woman. Grim Abby. 
Philip, fuck, I was not ready to meet the parents, man. Especially not in like a thong. Oh yeah, I guess I never told you my real name. It's Philip. Come, let's get some refreshments. I'm an old lady and it's not easy for me to mix these exactly. My hands just aren't as steady as they once were. You'll need to help me pour. Perfect. Hmm, that could have been better, but I certainly wouldn't be able to manage it. Suppose it will have to do. Tell me quite. Philip's birthday is coming up. What would you get him as a gift? I don't know, something big and bold? Maybe a statue? Maybe of a horse? You have no idea why you said that and you immediately regret it? Okay, tell me this. If Philip could be a tree, what kind of tree would he be? Neither of these are trees. A rhododendron? With colorful, beautiful blossoms, they make me exp He might make you feel that way, but that's not- Uh, run it- run it back, run it back, run it back! It's a good thing we have this funny fast forward button. No matter what you do, you cannot abandon my Philip. Do you understand? He has been abandoned his whole life. But he is here now and he has opened up to you of all people. Now where were you two before I arrived? It's okay, she knows. She does? Of course I do. It's a requirement of the ritual. As Grandma Abby places wraith and chains, your jaw drops. What is happening? One lover would be sacrificed and the other would do the sacrificing? No, bro, no! I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I couldn't. Also, his name changed to Phil. The disturbingly calm Grandma Abby hands you a jagged dagger. It seems far too dull for this job. All he wants to do is leave this place with you. You can make that happen. I love you and I've been waiting to give you my heart. Please, take it. Man, that's my serial killer! I love you too. Blackness. Through the darkness, you hear the sounds of the waves lapping. It's calm and still, just like when this journey began. Remember that? Feels like it was just an hour and 57 minutes ago. No, it's definitely longer than that. I just rewound a bit. You realized everything is dark because your eyes are closed. You decide to keep them that way for just one more moment. You did it. You fell in love with a killer. You made him fall in love with you, and you consummated your relationship. By agreeing to sacrifice him in a questionable ritual in order to get off this island, did you do the right thing? Did you play the game correctly? God damn, that art is sick. You open your eyes. You're still here, but you feel a weight has been lifted. Wraith is here, alive. He has stitches on his chest. You love your love is alive, but the ritual didn't work. Outside, Claudette and Grandma Abby bury Dwight in a hole, sculpting him into a cast sand castle in the shape of a T-Rex. We could join them and play in the sand, or we could get down and dirty right here in my cabana. Let's leave them out there until high tide, maybe longer. Wraith smiles. Roar, that's Dino for I love you. I should, I hope he, I wish he died. The end, Wee! Yeah, everyone at PSYOP, this was a CIA de like developed and funded game. Hooked on you, a dead by daylight dating sim. Turns out the ritual is just Philip's fetish. <laughs> that being said, did you guys know if you're watching this on YouTube, you missed out? Cause we stream these live on twitch.tv slash quite on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And you could have been here live for every up and down and every single one of my farts. Good God, you could have been here. Thank you for sticking around for the whole stream.